All right, so I have a paper, I have a pencil. This is what we need to do. Just like yesterday, we need to fold the paper the long skinny way. Okay. So fold your paper the long skinny way. Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah. I'm not at my house. I only uh -huh. have a small notebook, so could I use two pages? Uh, you know what? You can use that paper. Just use a little one. You just do little drawings. Okay. So just rip that paper out of your notebook, and you could do the same thing. All right, so hold up your uh, papers. So I know we can go. Sorry, this is taking forever. The drawings will go by a little bit quicker. The nice thing is, that, thanks, Chris. The nice thing about you guys holding up your paper is I can see that uh, you'll be able to show me what you draw. Don't get hung up on your drawings. If your drawings look weird, don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, so once you folded it the skinny way, we need to fold it the other way, which is what we did yesterday. Okay. Once you've done that, we're actually going to fold it one more time. Uh, and so what's going to happen is it'll look kind of like a little book. So I folded it two times. Well, actually three times. So there's four. If I open it, there's eight boxes. They're kind of vertical. That's what we need. We're going to do eight bodies. Wait, somebody's recording. That might be my phone. Or Gabby, did you record? Because I'm looking at a screen and it says recording, and that's got me Not excited. Me. Oh, so it's got to be either my laptop or my phone. Either way, somebody's recording, so that's cool. So it is recording. All right, so here's the deal. Mine's and everybody, oh, you guys are looking, are you guys looking at just my screen or do you see everybody else? I see everybody else as well. Oh, okay, if I switch things, I'll make it easier for you. Is that better? You should just be seeing just my screen. Cool. I still see other people, but I can I can see your paper. Oh, weird. Okay. Switch the active speaker to work. Switch to speaker. Active speaker. Hmm. Yeah, gallery, and you got active. Oh, dude, you need to work doing IT support. Okay, now, it. yeah, now can you guys just see my screen? That's it. And I am still recording. Awesome. Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to need to do eight bodies, and I wish I could zoom in a little bit better, but I'm hoping you can see my paper really good. I'm sorry you're seeing uh, my laptop as well. Oh, maybe... I can raise. Ooh, I'll scoop my laptop back. Put my paper up here. Okay, you can see better this way. All right, so check it out. I've been. We learned about lines last credit. Now we're learning about shapes. And I told you, lines make shapes. Shapes make things. We're going to use shapes to do some simple cartoon bodies. So, or the first one we're going to do, we'll call it regular. So I just wrote regular up there. Now the body, the first thing we're going to draw that's going to be really important is what's called the torso. That's that middle part of your body, your chest and your stomach. So for the regular one, we just do a rectangle for the torso. Okay. Now our cartooning, we're not doing stick people. Okay. We're using shapes. So here's a really easy one. We'll do long rectangles for the legs. And long rectangles for the arms. So go ahead and do what I'm doing. 
follow along with me because that way when you're done you're done with the assignment and then you just take a picture submit it and go about your happy day okay and then all we got to do is add a head all right so that's the first cartoon body that's simple you'll notice i didn't do feet or hands and that's because i'll be talking about those later some people really struggle with hands and so i really want to be able to show you teach you how to do hands now if you want to have a little fun you're like dude that was cool you're bored and you're listening to me talk and you're like uh, when's he going to start the next one if you want to draw on these and do stuff you can but that was regular okay now i'm going to scoot over to the next box we're going to do skinny and just hang it with me if this seems a little too easy, too simple. For skinny, the torso is going to be a skinny torso. And this is cartooning, so anything's possible. Uh, so, yeah, we could have super ultra skinny people, you know, in cartoons. The bodies, they're good to know because sometimes when you do a cartoon, it helps if the body matches. Like if you're going to do an elephant or a bear or Santa Claus, you want a chubby body. You don't want a skinny one. Uh, with my legs and arms, I want to bend them this time. So this is what I'm going to do to make them bend. I just go halfway, and bend. We're doing two lines because we're not doing stick people. Sorry, my lines look a little wobbly. I think that's because of my laptop. And then my arms, I'll bend those as well. And uh, I'll make this guy like a basketball player. So interesting thing about arms and legs is both arms and legs bend at the halfway point. On your knees, they bend halfway up down the leg. Arms, it's the elbows. And sometimes it's a little tricky if you don't have practice learning how to do the proportions right. Because you're like, dude, my legs are way too long and my arms are too short. That just takes practice. You can get that. Now, what happens is when people are skinny, we don't see, you know, you see mostly their skeleton. You don't got chub or muscle covering skeleton. So with the skinny one, you usually will see a neck, right? And this one isn't accurate, but it's cartooning. You can actually do a skinny head. In the real world, your head, the skull doesn't get bigger or smaller or thinner or fatter, but there is sometimes a difference with the fat around it. Okay, and I'll wait a second before we go to the next one. We'll get going pretty quick here pretty soon. Um, if you're caught up or you're done and you want to hold up your paper to the camera so I can see what you got, that'd be great. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Killed it. Thanks, Abby. I know Gabby's got crazy skills. Hers probably. Yeah, Christopher. Thanks, man. Um, don't put too much detail in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like wondering what Gabby's doing because she's such a good drawer. It's like it's gonna be like Avatar or something. She's gonna hold up. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one. And uh, as always with cartooning, you never want to be mean or hurtful, so you never do cartoons that tease or make fun of people. Uh, you know, oh, here's Mr. G. He's so fat. Ha ha ha! Look at this cartoon. You know, people try to be funny sometimes, but it's, it's actually mean. But despite that, in cartoons, we do have chubby or fat. I don't like the term fat, so I'm going to go with the term chubby. And like I said, you know, the reality is there are certain bodies that are chubby. and You know, your babies, your pigs, stuff like that, we want them to be chubby. So you'll notice that our torso was a regular rectangle, a vertical rectangle for regular body. Skinny was a skinny uh, rectangle. What do you think we'll do for chubby for our torso? Round. Yep, exactly. So on this one, draw a circle. I know it looks like a head, but that's going to be the body, right? And because it's thicker or chubby, we're going to do our legs wide apart yeah, basically the lines of the legs each leg is going to be wider so instead of drawing them all skinny and close together i've now drawn them wider apart 
And you know what? You don't even have to put the gap. Sometimes I don't put the gap. I just put one line because the legs are touching right against each other. Same thing with the arms. I'll put my arms coming off the shoulders. Really big. I know they kind of look like ears or something. Now here's an interesting thing. When you got super chub, don't draw your head. I'll do it lightly. Don't draw your head on top, although you can. But usually, like I was talking about with the neck, when it's really skinny, we can see the neck. But if it gets chubby, we don't see the neck. The other thing that happens, it actually works better to put the head down lower. See how I put it on top of the torso so they kind of merge? And I'll take my pencil and erase the lines that overlapped. You get a better effect for chubby. Cool. So we got regular, we got skinny, we got chubby. Let's go on. This next one is muscular. And instead of muscular, I'm going to put buff. I don't know if you've heard the term buff. That means you got muscles. So this guy's going to be, uh, or girl, is going to be buff. And like I'd said, we do a different torso for each one of these, and it makes a difference. We change the limbs a little bit. Buff, I think this one might be the hardest one to draw. Just follow with me step by step. You'll be all right. But let me explain a couple things. When you develop muscles, the muscles get big. If there's no muscles in a spot, they don't get big. You don't have muscles in your knees. You don't have muscles in your elbows. So no matter how much weight you lift or how much you work out, you're not going to get big buff knees or big buff elbows. They stay small. So it makes the muscles look different. Uh, typically, if you develop a lot of muscles, your shoulders and your chest are going to be big. So the torso, we're going to draw a triangle. Oops, my triangle kind of messed up because I got this vinyl lettering underneath. Looks kind of like a Dorito chip. And I'll explain the reason for the Dorito chip. So draw a triangle that has the wide top at the part. I mean, hello, the wide part at the top, the narrow part at the bottom. Uh, Usually if they're buff, their chest and their arms, which are near the top, get big. And then the waist gets small from all the exercise. So we end up with that kind of shape. So let me show you what to do. Uh, we're going to put two shoulder curves right over the edges of the corner. For the biceps, I'm going to draw circles. And this would be somebody like, I don't know, Hulk, Captain America, you know, somebody buff. For the forearms, do you guys know parentheses? In English class, you learn parentheses. This would be parentheses, buff. So we're going to use parentheses, long parentheses, for this forearm, long parentheses for this forearm. Uh, before we go down to the arms, I mean the legs, the chest, we're going to draw a straight line right across the middle. And then right in the exact middle, we'll do a line that goes up. A strong, buff, developed chest turns into kind of like a big square almost. And what's fascinating is even women, if they work out and lift tons of weight, because, you know, the women's chest is different, it'll flatten out, square off like that. You've ever seen women bodybuilders? Now, uh, I have. okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, now, with the legs, we're going to do big parentheses on one side, big parentheses on the other, and then the calf, the lower part of the leg, parentheses, parentheses. And before anybody gets embarrassed or Oh my God, she's naked. I'm going to put some swim trunks on them. Okay. So uh, you'll notice I did the legs and the arms different because it's buff. It's, it's got these curves. Okay. Now I'm not doing hands and arms, I mean, and feet, because like I said, I'm going to teach that 
in another class. And I've talked a little bit about the neck, skinny neck on a skinny person, because you can mostly see skeleton, so you can see it. No neck on a chubby one, because it's kind of buried under the chub. But an interesting to happen, thing happens with the buff person. Their neck actually has muscles and they get big. The muscles are bigger at the bottom of the neck, so it creates a neck that's kind of like a pyramid, and then you put the head on top. If it's bugging you that you don't have hands, you can put little hand shapes and the feet shape. Cool. If you want to add the six pack, you can. He's ripped. Okay. So that was the hardest one. That one took the most time. The other ones will be a little bit quicker. Okay, I'll try to speed through these. And we're almost done. We're halfway done. We got four bodies. Okay, now let's do uh, another one. We'll go with female body. This one's interesting. There's only one key thing I want to teach you about that. And technically, any of these could have been female. That could be a woman. That could be a woman. That could be a woman. And even that could be a woman. Because, you know, you have different types of female bodies. But the reason I'm doing this one is there's one key thing that I want to show you. So we used rectangle, we used skinny rectangle, we used circle, we used triangle. Anybody care to guess what shape we could be using for the torso on a female? Hourglass. Boom! Abby slayed it. She's completely right. If you don't know what an hourglass is, because it's an old-fashioned thing, it's almost like drawing a bow tie sideways. Hourglass are those glass things that have like white sand in them and they flip them and the sand like pours down and once the, all the sand's at the bottom, you're out of time. So the reason we're going to use an hourglass is because typically what happens with females is they have hips. Their hips widen out. Male bodies don't have hips that come out. They just stay straight. And women, their upper body, their chest tend to come out. Uh, and so then that comes out, and then because the hips are out, the chest is out, it makes the waist look narrow. So if you draw like an hourglass shape, it's going to immediately look more feminine, more like a woman. Uh, look, I'm just going to do regular legs. So I'm just doing two lines for the legs, which I know is weird, but whatever. And I'm going to bend the arms. And by the way, I'm going to draw my arms higher than here because this is not the top of the shoulder. This is just the waist. So I'm going to put one arm up here like it's on her hip maybe. And I'll have her, like the basketball player, I'll bend the arm the other way and have her like on her cell phone. Okay. So you get what I mean as far as it looks more like a woman because the hips come in. I'll put the shoulder up here. Maybe add a hair, so some long hair, neck, whatever. Now, I know she looks kind of manly. <laughs> she looks kind of weird. But just, just humor me. Just do what I'm doing. Now, let me show you some, a freaky thing. Any of these, if I go in and tweak the waist, like the skinny one, if I just come in here, suddenly it looks more like a, a female just by going in on the waist. I'll fix these, I promise, right? Just by doing that cut in, you get a female uh, body, so I'll erase those. Okay, and thank you for following along, and doing your best. So we did regular, skinny, chubby, buff, female, we got three left. Uh, let me go with baby because there's some interesting stuff with baby. Now, most of you have seen cartoons or animated movies, stuff like that. Sometimes they'll do a baby version of a character. Like, I don't know if you've seen uh, Tiny Toons, where they take like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and they make them as baby versions. But there's also, uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, teen Titans, where they look younger. So depending on your age, it looks a little different. So with Baby, 
the torso we're going to do a square because it's not as long and developed as like a, an adult and then this particular baby oh i kind of messed up i see something i did wrong i wrote baby i should have drawn the square lower either way i don't care i'm gonna go do a really big head on your baby the head should be about the same size as the torso that's what's really going to make it look more like a baby because uh babies even though their heads aren't ginormous they're pretty close to adult size compared to the body and then the body does a lot of growing the head grows a little bit so when you draw a really big head that's why they do those big heads on those cartoon babies <clears throat> i'm going to draw a triangle underneath for a diaper my baby's going to be sitting on his butt because he can't walk yet so I'm going to draw a line across the bottom and I'm just going to curl some feet up and then connect so chubby thighs and then I'll add a couple arms they can be little I'll put little mitten hands fascinating thing when you go to draw a baby face or a head a girl baby and a boy baby look this exactly the same if you ever want to do like a girl baby you could probably put a bow or a hair band right that's what a lot of moms do the babies are bald but they don't want anybody to think their baby's a boy so they'll put pink clothes on it or put it in a hair band or a bow same thing in the cartoons if you want oh it's a baby girl then you would do the same stuff usually with baby boys the cartoon ones maybe they'll put a little curl like he's got a little hair and then the big famous cartoon one is you put one tooth because it's a baby right. all right now i'm gonna do a a kid so KID, we're going to skip teen. I'll explain teen, but we'll skip it. Uh, kid, it's really all about the head, what I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to do a, a rectangle that is kind of chubby because it's not as tall as the adult one, and it's not as short. Well, this one actually kind of matches. As short as the baby ones. It's a kid. And I'm, by kid, I'm talking anywhere from like two to maybe nine years old. I'll do my legs pretty regular, even though they're a little thicker. Arms. Now check this out. You don't have to draw this, but look, if I put a small head on this, that could be an adult, right? But since I'm doing a kid, we don't draw a giant head. I did a giant head that would be more like a baby but I'll do a pretty big head and because the head's kind of big your mind is like oh that's a kid you know sometimes people really make the head a lot bigger it's like the bigger the head actually the younger the kid and the biggest head would belong to the baby I'll even go a little bit bigger okay you see what I'm talking about and we're ready for our last one okay the last one i'm calling that super old you could just put old but technically this is super old because the crazy thing we live in a day and age where some of you have grandpas that look like that right some of you have grandmas that look like that People are like 50, 60, and they're in really great shape. They don't look that old. Um, but sadly, as people get older, and it's starting to happen to me, I'm, I'm 54, um, your body just starts doing stuff, just like when it grows. Uh, one of the things it does when you get super old, it starts to shrink, actually. And I feel like I've shrunk a little bit. 
feel like I was taller before. Um, then the other sad thing that happens, your joints, everything that bends starts to stiffen up. You'll hear, hear older people go, oh, my fingers hurt because, you know, the joints in your finger, the fingers are stiffening. Or they'll be like, oh, my back hurts or, oh, my knees. Everything starts to stiffen up. So what happens is the body starts to bend in weird ways. So we'll do the regular torso that we did, a rectangle for regular body and even kid body. But because they're super old, we're going to make their legs bent. You know, and people like joke around, I'm old. They bend their legs and walk around with their legs bent. We'll bend the arms. Ah, you know, and I'm talking super old. You little whippersnapper, 90s, 100, whatever. Now, a great way to make a, a body look super old from the front is all of these, by the way, are from the front. The side view is a little different, especially with this body. Uh, from the side, a really old person, their body's hunched over, right? They're like, hey, what are you doing? Whatever, you know, their body's bent. But from the front, it's kind of hard to get that. So what we'll do, we'll draw the head way low. Kind of like when we did the chubby body and we brought the head down, except we'll bring it way low. Erase the crossover. If you want to add an old man beard, you could add an old man beard. Or if you want to add like grandma hair with the bun on top, you could put that on top. Little old glasses, cane, right? So that's what I'm talking about. The main difference is that the body is bent because all the joints have gotten stiff and sore. Cool? So now, we have, ooh, I think I could go up a little bit more. Ooh. Um, we have eight bodies. And they're cartoon bodies. Try to remember this term, torso, because I'll probably put that on a quiz somewhere. Uh, we didn't do feet or hands, because I'm going to show you how to do those later. Cool?